In today's video, I'm going to show you how eating this helped me make this transformation in just one day. Some people might not think that's a very big deal, so it was nice to have other people chime in and validate this. And there is such great significance to the passage of time when we think about a day. Today we're going to talk about before and after photos and fitness transformations. Sometimes these transformations can be truly inspiring and amazing. Other times, though, they can be questionable and downright deceptive. My first exposure with before and after pictures happened back in the late 90s. I was at a drugstore waiting for a prescription to get filled for a sick kid. And while I'm sitting there, there's a magazine right next to me and it was uh, Muscle Media. And I opened it up and it opened to a page of all these before and after pictures. And uh, for those of you don't, that don't know, this was Bill Phillips, Body for Life guy. He ran this contest. And when I saw these pictures, my jaw just dropped. I couldn't believe it. I was just so impressed with what they had been able to accomplish in such a short amount of time. So I ended up doing this contest shortly thereafter and uh, put in a lot of work and I was pretty pleased with the results, felt so much better about the changes I was able to make over a short period of three months. And that's actually what got me into being a personal trainer back then. Now, for those of you making fun of the quality of these pictures, um, just want to point out this was almost 25 years ago and a pre-digital camera for most people. I had to turn in the original pictures for this contest. And so I think I made a photocopy. That's why they're all black and white, not so great, but gives you an idea. Okay, so let's move on to these eight tips. The first one is an obvious one, and that is one's posture or body language. So many times in the before pictures, you'll see someone, they're kind of slouched over, their guts hanging out, they're just relaxed, bad posture. Uh, compared to the after picture, they're gonna be sitting up straight, sucking in, flexing, doing everything they can to look better. And uh, that's kind of a no brainer, but that's one thing you'll see in all these is just the way they're holding their body. Number two is an extension of body language and that is your facial expression. In most before pictures, you'll see someone, they look kind of sad, depressed, lethargic. You know, they're trying to channel that inner Eeyore, uh, just look as miserable as possible. In the after picture, they're gonna be smiling, more vibrant, they're more confident and sexy, whatever it takes to look better on that second one. Number three is food intake. In a lot of before pictures, people will go out to an all-you-can-eat buffet and just go nuts get totally stuffed so they can hardly even bend over after, and then they're gonna take those pictures with the full stomach, the standard stomach, and they're gonna be feeling miserable when they take that picture. Versus an after picture, most people are gonna be cutting for some time before that. A lot of times they'll be in a fasted state. You're gonna look a lot better, so that's gonna make a big difference just in their abdomen alone. Number four is a big one, and that is the pump. You're gonna be looking and feeling a lot bigger right after a workout, so you're gonna be you know, swole post-workout when you still got all that blood in your muscles. And that's the ideal time to do an after picture. Think about all these superhero movies you've seen in the last 10 years. Uh, all these guys that have an impressive physique, I can guarantee they've got some 25 pound dumbbells on set. And right before they start each take, they're doing some pumps or overhead presses or push-ups or whatever to get pumped up because that can make a big difference. Number five is the clothes you wear. This could make a big difference because certain clothes are definitely more complimentary than others. Now in my before and after picture, I wore the same set of uh, swim trunks However, just to uh, show you just a subtle example of this, I have two shirts I bought from the same company. One was a large, one was an XL. This red one here, it's a XL. You can see that's more of kind of blanketing me. It just like covers everything. You can see the blue one's a little bit more complimentary and form fitting. So that just as a small example of how the size and shape of your clothes can make a big difference on how you come across on a picture. Now, number six is a big one. I'm actually combining three things and I didn't do any of these, but these are big in bodybuilding It's shaving, tanning, and using oil. Now, a lot of people make fun of bodybuilders for doing these things. I totally understand why they do it. It's part of the sport, it makes total sense. It's gonna accentuate their muscles and make them look so much better and more impressive on stage. But uh, I didn't end up doing this. It's just not my cup of tea. This sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. Plus I'm a good 12 pounds overweight right now. So I have no desire to uh, draw more attention to that. Number seven is lighting. Any photographer will tell you how important that is. Um, if you have too much light, it's too bright, it's just gonna wash everything out. Uh, whereas if it's more underlit and just lit properly, you'll see more details. It'll accentuate you know, the body shape and curves and shadows and things like that. So lighting can make a huge difference. And number eight is Photoshop and filters. Uh, it used to be you'd have to have you know, expensive software and be trained to be able to do that. But now it seems like every phone has some sort of app or filter where it can make your pictures look better than they really are. Sometimes that technology can be helpful and make a picture look a little bit better. And there's lots of apps out there where people can change the size of their waist or their muscles bigger, things like that. Um, a lot of times they're really blatant people though, it becomes quite obvious. So to summarize, most people when they do before and after pictures, 
they're going to try and make that before picture look as bad as possible, worse than they actually are. And they're going to want to make that after picture look better than they actually are doing some of these tricks and tips besides just the actual physical transformation that might be going on. And uh, I don't have a problem with before and after pictures. I just wanted to share some of these ideas with you and let you know this because there are a lot of people who are naive out there, but I'm all for improving your physique. I'm all for these motivational transformations you see people do. I think it's awesome, but I don't think you should put too much stock in before and after photos because of some of these things, especially if someone's trying to sell you something. At the beginning of this video, I said I made this transformation in one day. That's true. And I did it after eating this, which is a piece of chocolate. So again, there's nothing miraculous about that. I did have a piece of chocolate, but uh, if I wanted to be all deceptive about that, I'd go on bragging about how this helped me look better and I post these pictures. So I just want to be careful of all the stuff you see online. There's lots of deception out there. If you enjoy these videos, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Got a lot of other ones I'm working on. I'm looking forward to sharing with you in the upcoming weeks.